Okay, cool. So the next item that we're gonna make in the combi oven is steak. We're actually gonna do this a couple different ways. And the first version that we're gonna do is we're gonna do it as a sous vide using the steam function of the oven. You know what sous vide is in French? I think you're gonna tell me. Uh, under vacuum. Under vacuum. Yeah. yeah. I Googled that right before we uh, <laughs> record. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so this one does take a little bit longer because we want it uh, to be sous vide for about an hour. So we're gonna get the oven going here. We're gonna put it into the steam function. Okay, so while the oven is getting preheated and steaming up, let's go ahead and assemble this. So we've hit our preheat on the oven, the oven's ready to go. All we have to do, let some of the steam to steam. Close the door, and now we're cooking. So the sous vide steak is done. Uh, now we're gonna pull it out. Put full natural juices in there. All that buttery goodness. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually switch to our convection mode with our grill pan, and we're gonna put a little bit of a sear on this steak now. So I'm gonna go with a really high heat, really hot, really dry. Our grill rack is nice and hot, so let's go ahead and put a sear on this bad boy. So, uh, the other form of steak that we're going to do in the combi oven today is just a straight up uh, char broil. Uh, so that's a great advantage of the, this oven is uh, you can do multiple forms of cooking uh, with one piece of equipment. So Brett's going to go ahead here and prep it up with some salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. I thought it was just here to look pretty. You're doing that too. And would you rub this in at all? Or Ab just... Absolutely. Give it a nice little massage. And you'll want to get the seasoning on both sides. Say when. When. Okay. You were already done, so <laughs> rub it in. Yep. Is that for a rub in? I Don't answer a, that. Could use a massage now. <laughs> so as you can see in the oven already, we have our char broiler rack in here. That's going to give the steak a nice uh, sear and give it those nice grill lines. And we're not actually gonna go by time. We're actually gonna use our food, food probe today uh, to monitor the internal temperature of that steak. And once it hits our medium rare uh, internal temperature, it's gonna stop cooking and let us know to pull it out. So I'm gonna hit start. The oven's gonna get to preheat to its uh, perfect temperature. While it's doing that, I want my grill rack in this oven so it gets nice and hot. So when we place that steak on there, it's gonna get that nice, Sear. So let's go ahead and throw this steak on. And so we've uh, we've reached our internal temperature. So let's go ahead and take her out. So we just showed you how to make steak two ways, two very different ways, but both equally delicious. It looks so good. Uh, again, sous vide, and, which is again in French, under vacuum. I hope you were paying attention, I can tell. <laughs> and uh, and a, a, just a kind of straightforward charbroil and both you know, really turned out great. The color is what really impresses me. The first time before I'd ever saw a steak done in one of our Henny Penny combis, that's kind of what I was wondering about is how do you get that kind of char uh, or any other color? And uh, well, as you can see, it does the job, so. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of funny how you can cook them under 
two extremely opposite conditions. One, very high, high humidity uh, at a low temperature, and then the other one, zero humidity at a very high temperature. So very versatile unit. Thank you.